morning. Hello everybody, this is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. Is that straight? Maybe. That's a little low, isn't it? Ah, it's a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, fabulous Monday. It's absolutely beautiful. Turn this off so you can hear me better. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so good today. Um, I had a wonderful, crazy dream <laughs> last night. Uh, I never mentioned this, but uh, usually, if I'm not freezing my little fanny off, I'm a very solid sleeper. Uh, it takes me a while to get to sleep, but once I'm asleep, I, uh, I slept through a tornado once. Seriously, we got up, uh, I got up to take the kids to school, and one block over from where we lived, the whole street was torn up, and they had had a tornado, <laughs> so, I mean, it's not funny, but um, the fact that I slept through it is kind of hilarious, I guess, and uh, I just, I'm a very sound sleeper, which is why it's hard for me to fall asleep, because I have this fear that, you know, if someone's going to break in... I won't hear them because I'll be snoring. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, so last night I was hearing truck noises and it sounded kind of like uh, what you hear when uh, the dump truck comes and picks up the garbage. So maybe it was early, early this morning and maybe that's what it was. I don't know. But that kind of... Um, I tend to put things into dreams if I don't want to wake up yet, like lots of times I'd have the radio go off uh, as an alarm, and whatever they were talking about when the alarm went off and I hit snooze, I'd put it into my dream, and I'd keep dreaming. So I, I have interesting dreams. And last, uh, sometime last night or this morning or sometime, I dreamt, I opened my eyes, because I heard a noise, like the garbage truck, and then it didn't quite sound like a garbage truck. And I opened my eyes, and it was kind of flashing lights, but they weren't like um, like police lights. And uh, I dreamt that there was a UFO surrounding my van. <laughs> and... Uh, I woke up just enough to look at my, you know, curtains, which are not uh, blackout curtains, you know, these ones that they come with, and I could see, you know, red lights and a little bit of flashing, like E.T. kind of, you know, Close Encounters kind of stuff, <laughs> and uh, I thought, you know, I looked at it a little while and nothing happened, so I went back to sleep. <laughs> And that's how my dream ended, so I wasn't even curious enough to get out and look at E.T. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not ready to get up yet. It's too chilly. <laughs> so uh, that's that's how this day started. <laughs> I like it when my days start off a little uniquely. So anyway, I'm in a very good mood because, as you know, I got my little surprise. I got the counter. Uh, Lamont, I... You might have mentioned it a hundred times, but I never heard it. And uh, so I was thrilled <laughs> when you, you mentioned it towards the end of last weekend, I think. It was the first time it clicked, what you were saying. And uh, and this week it was just like, I had no... You know, I came up here so you could make me a bed frame and maybe help me rip out my carpet and do that. And you've done so much more. And uh, I'll be forever grateful to you for that. Um, he's a good guy. And uh, we're going to interview each other next weekend. No, we're not, because I'm going to be in Illinois. Right before I leave for Springfield, the, the following weekend, we decided we'd interview each other and, and do a little tour, you know, of the finished products and stuff. Was I supposed to say that, Lamont? <laughs> Oops. I hope it wasn't a surprise. Anyway, so you're going to see that in a couple weeks. <laughs> Something to look forward to. 
And I'm going to um, paint this. I may put a little heart right there. So I look like my logo. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is today and um, Locked for Life. Uh, I did find a, a spray thing. It's it's called uh, Kamar uh, Varnish or something like that. But it says it's good for watercolor, acrylics, and oils. And I used it on the little paintings that I'm sending you. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. You can decide when you see them, but it'll protect them. And um, I did not get to the post office Saturday. And so I'm going to try to go on my lunch today. If I get it sent off today, you'll get it, I guess, Friday or Saturday. A little bit like a day or two after Thanksgiving. I hope that's okay. Um, but I really did want to get that, uh, that, um, you know, what did I just say? <sighs> the protector coat, you know. Um, I just think that's good for the paintings. I'm going to do them all that way. Now. And it kind of brought out uh, the texture, you know, the the swan. It was hard for me to let that go. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you got it. But, yeah, it was hard to let that go because I don't know if I can paint that again. <laughs> but uh, it kind of brought texture out of it. It kind of looks cooler. It looks li Anyway, I, I hope you like it. And uh, let me know when you get it so I don't worry that it got lost or anything. But uh, I'll send it today at lunchtime. Okay, see what else goes on today and I'll talk to you in a minute. Lunchtime. Well, it may not be the healthiest meal in the world, but it's not the most unhealthy. Ham, lettuce, cheese, chips, and a bunch of grapes. Trying to keep my fruit in at least. <laughs> Gotta have those chips though. Anyway, I just left the post office, and uh, my paintings are on the way. They said they'll get there Friday. That's pretty good, even with the holiday and everything. So, they're on their way. They ended right now before it gets any darker. Um, it's a pretty sunset. It's the end of the day. I got my thing mailed off. Um, I forgot to put a note in it, <laughs> but, uh, sorry about that, but, uh, I got it mailed off, and, uh, yeah, we're all done for this day. Very uneventful, very, very nice day. One down, two to go, and then I get to head back home for a little while, a short while. <laughs> Love you all, have a great, have a great day, uh, Tuesday, and, uh, follow your bliss. And be nice to everybody. Everybody. Give yourself a challenge. Pick out the nastiest person you know. And give them a big smile and say good morning. Sometimes it works. I know. Love y'all. Take care. See you tomorrow.